Sunday, September 26, 2021. Um, I just caught a story which I thought was really, really um, interesting. The gentleman mentioned something about gene therapy, G-E-N-E-T-H-E-R-A-P-Y. He's walking. It's so unusual because he's walking. He started in Maine, um, and he's walking barefoot, B-A-R-E-F-O-O-T, um, to Camp Lejeune in North Carolina for his daughter, who has a rare condition, R-A-R-E. <clears throat> Speed internet with Optimum Flexibility at Optimum.com today. A British Army major made a stop in Manhattan as he walks down the entire East Coast to help his little girl. Major Chris Brannigan's been walking barefoot, hauling a 55-pound backpack since the 31st of August. He's raising money to fund pioneering research for his daughter's rare condition. She was diagnosed with Cornelia DeLange syndrome, or CDLS. C. D-L-S, Cornelia DeLange syndrome. I'd never even heard of it before. <clears throat> cognition or learning, and, you know, it gets worse from age 12, so we're really racing against time to create a gene therapy for it. He started his 1,200-mile journey at the Jackson Laboratory in Maine, where there's research being developed that might help his little girl and he expects to end his walk at Camp Lejeune in North Carolina sometime mm. in mid-October. Mm. We're bringing awareness to something maybe a lot of people don't know about, so mm -hmm. we wish him, of course, luck. Uh, in terms of our weather, we're on a really nice stretch right now. Though I, gotta tell, I, I know it's very tough to predict weather really far out, but my best friend's daughter is having a bat mitzvah Saturday, mm -hmm. and he's very concerned about the weather. We're hoping this nice stretch... Continues. I know there are no guarantees in the world of weather, but no guarantees. Look at yeah. Uh, you'll see the ten-day forecast looking uh, pretty good. Okay, but uh, again, uh, it's a little early for that. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah, sure your best yeah. friend appreciates it. That. Outside? Um, I, well, I'll be told to be outside. Okay. <laughs> 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 It's September 26, 2021. Just to add to that gentleman, um, there was also a thing about LaGuardia Airport um, there and the flood uh, with some kind of drainage. And then a message from Pre Vi then Vice President Biden um, that mentions LaGuardia almost as a third world nation. Which I always find interesting when you take that verbiage out. So there's there's first world, there's second world, and then there's a third world. Does Terminal C? Because they don't teach the that next in year. school here. The entire project due to be done in two years, and when Hurricane Ida struck three weeks ago, all of the resiliency measures worked perfectly. A critical test for an airport trying to modernize ever since then Vice President Biden's infamous 2014 description. If I took you in blindfold and you took to the LaGuardia Airport in New York, you must think I must be in some third world country. But today on our exclusive tour, we're over here on the west side of LaGuardia's airfield, where Tony Vero, LaGuardia's general manager, we've put all of the electrical controls that need to be here near the pumps in these waterproof enclosures. Showed us how water pumps are now protected. And his team advised the generator for the airport's backup electrical power on top of a platform 17 feet up. It's not as dramatic as you think looking at, um, at sea level rise and climate change. Uh, we want to build to not only the current 100-year flood elevation, but the future 100-year flood elevation. Meanwhile, can... Wait a minute. So there's a 100-year flood elevation already on file with the humans? And then there's a future 100-year elevation now. I'm just curious, who does those predictions? Where do, where do those statistics come from? <clears throat> and why are they preparing for 200 years of flood water? Why are they not preparing 
for scaling back their dangerous behaviors or not implementing the dangerous behaviors ahead of time. I mean, I'm just curious how these humans really work. They say work together. I don't really see it. Star 1978, Star 8378, Nicole Caterizzo. I'm in Bayside Station, Bayside, New York, Woman 361. That's one of the local airports. They call them public airports, but FAA is <coughs> supposedly <coughs> the one who does oversight of anything airport related. Although, again, I, I don't have firsthand knowledge of that. It's just what the humans say on the remote learning and on the tell a vision. But as far as being able to verify or vet that information, I don't have a source or a way of doing so.